Evening everybody. Um, hopefully you'll notice that the picture quality is better. Uh, that's because I bought a new camera as uh, the better quality ones are cheaper now. Um, I mean I paid less than half for this HD one than I did the original one that I've done nearly all the videos with. Anyway, this is a bit of a test and it, and it will repeat what I've already posted about really but uh, let us know what you think about the quality. Uh, although I know I'm going to have fun uploading, it's going to take days. Anyway, uh, a bit of a recap really and I'll show you a few more uh, things, uh, mock up if you like, of the uh, Mech 2014, the Mech 2014. Um, viewers that have seen the posts on a couple of forums will know most about it if you've read them. Uh, essentially then, a Mech 1 chassis uh, from an original uh, Meccano uh, steam engine um, known by everybody except Meccano as a Mech 1 uh, the Mech 1 not being a f an official name anyway taken off uh, the base has been taken off from uh, one that the engine the, the boiler was totaled so um, no pain there uh, as it were and I got this from Ralph Ralph Lawton, uh, who seems to have quite a few lying around in varying conditions. Anyway, so what we've done then, uh, I've gone out from and bought from the Marid factory their new marine vertical boiler. As you can see, that's this black thing here. Um, 40 psi boiler, central flue boiler as well, which is where we may have a bit of issues when we initially start up the engine that was having quite a bit of condensate at that time but there's a plan to uh, reduce that um, and still hopefully have it exhaust via the chimney anyway forget these bits of polystyrene packing that's just there to stop the burner flapping about a bit um, I've took it out and about to a few people took it to the Mamid factory and I've been to uh, see Mr Mamid in Hereford took it with him there to a team there so essentially you get the boiler and the base plate with its clamp and the brass nuts and bolts that hold the clamp around the, boil, the boiler and actually clamp it to its base which is stainless steel and took some cutting. There's my rather poor first cut right on the slant really. The other side is a lot better. Initially the uh, base overhangs a little bit. Uh, I don't know, 3 mil each side, something like that. Uh, cut them down just for practicality really the original holes were too small and um, almost in line for Meccano but not quite uh, so just opening them up wouldn't have been in line uh, to about 4 mil 532 is uh, Meccano axle size um, likewise they weren't the original holes weren't further enough away so I could drill into fresh metal so I've had to elongate the holes, rather like a slot on some Meccano parts um, and with some uh, washers, Meccano washers, a spacer and a nut um, we've uh, mounted it uh, quite successfully without modifying the Mech 1 chassis at all should it ever be used for what it was originally intended now before I go on to the boiler details you can see here um, you should be able to see there, let's see, yep yeah, uh, the Meccano bolts. Now you notice there's a nut below the base that's to make it easy to remove the boiler by just undoing these nuts. The bolts stay in place on the main base and it's a lot easier to put it back together doing it upside down putting the washers back on the nuts and put the base plate onto the the boiler base. Now the, the Mech 1 chassis, chassis is completely standard uh, trying not to do it with any modifications to the chassis whatsoever uh, there you can see the burner uh, that's extra it's a quite a large burner, it's not clamped in place yet and I've decided to save space in board here where we're going to have a few things, of course the pipe work will be back on and the bolt that holds the uh, cylinder onto the uh, face there um, it's just outside the main frame, just at the corner now I can still get at the screw hole there for Meccano use but what I can't get at very easily and yes you can just sit there is the, uh, the little bolt that holds the jet in place in the burner 
the idea is that once you undo the clamp there's enough play uh, even with it slightly packed out there's quite a bit of play to move over it around lift it up get a small um, screwdriver in there or perhaps end of a pen knife blade that's the idea anyway um, Really it's just a trial and error thing, so try something out, see how it fits, think about it, see how we could do it better. And uh, maybe this will be the first of, uh, of several models, that will be slightly different. Um, but we'll come on to them uh, if they happen I suppose. But um, So it's gas fired, or it will be. The pipe work is going to come out here, curve up. And the tank will sit there. Now here's the uh, the original crankshaft, it's very rusty, it needs a bit of a clean up first. It goes in there, I'll just if we get it in. Yeah, it's a little stiff. So as you can see, it will be secured, not sure how yet. The tank will go there, the gas tank, the pipe will work its way down and left, which um, now it's uh, a bit more further away from the uh, connection on the jet it gives an, a, a gentler curve so that, that's a better thing to do it's going to be a right convoluted way of doing it otherwise and then this will also protect although there shouldn't be any steam about much but being dribblers they do tend to chuck out waste water from other than the uh, the exhaust to protect these, this side of the jet this side uh, but more by luck than judgement really we have here a small condensing pot now I was going to make my own but this was uh, found on the internet. Um, they've got their own website, but they've also got a shop on eBay. Uh, small condenser, uh, 19 quid, including the post. I thought, well, yeah, it'd be fun to make it, but it's probably cost me that in the metal and the solder and everything else. Although I could make, make one to fit the, uh, the area better. Having said that, this is such, it's about 65mm high, the tank part, and uh, I think it's 28 across the diameter of it. Um, small base, but there's enough meat in there to either drill out the hole to 4 mil, except, except a mammoth nut and bolt. But I'll probably do it just to one side. That's purely how it's going to fit. Now, I'm trying to remember which is you now. That's the, the top one is obviously, that, uh, well, maybe obvious, that's for, towards the chimney. Uh, the longer one is the exhaust, and the shorter one is the uh, drain and reading the instructions if I was going to do it exactly to the instructions uh, you get supplied with a uh, quite a decent length of tube and a rivet the rivet forms a, uh, a stop a plug for the drain and the idea is that you run the engine with the drain plug out and you pinch the chimney and it throws out the waste probably not going to do that I'm going to use a syringe myself um, the main reason for me fitting this is not to catch the oil but is to reduce the amount of condensate going up the chimney of the boiler now there is already a hole in the chimney just there to accept an exhaust a copper pipe which we have uh, it will go in there and up a bit um, pretty much like the original Meccano 1929 engine see so my SE2A who's got its exhaust fire a chimney when it starts up the uh, the chimney sort of all fills up with water uh, definitely a third and uh, I have to suck it out um, it makes a mess splatters everywhere if you don't so in this case with the central flue it won't splatter out but it'll drop onto the burner which is right underneath there uh, can't show you the burner itself but if you go on Mamad's website you can see a picture of it because it's all secured down although this will be coming off shortly so I can start on the clamp for the burner which is the next thing really I'm waiting for some tools as well the uh, pipe bender and cutter uh, to come so gas tank there and the condensing pot will go just to the side of the gas tank there like that this will probably be cut down there will be a, a manifold made up for the two exhaust pipes off the back of the face to go into because there's two exhausts it being reversible two into one into the pot and pipes off the top copper into the chimney and hopefully it will exhaust without causing too much mess down on the burner 
There needs to be a hole drilled in there so I can line it up better. It's going to have to be a new hole, otherwise it's... I might just get a... yeah, it's going to have to be... yeah, it has to be a new hole so I can get the uh, condensing pot slightly further away from the tank. don't know how I'm going to secure the tank yet, um, but there is a spare hole in between the two now that I could probably do something with. Anyway, it's all a bit trial and error as I say. As you can see the cylinder's been removed, that's going to be um, cleaned up, polished up. In fact I've already given them a bit of a wash in soapy water. Here's the flywheel. Uh, it's of course a bit white and faded now, but that will be uh, painted light blue instead of red. Um, light blue, similar to as the original 1929 flywheel was, which was a dish flywheel and smaller. Uh, just a, a bit of history showed in it, uh, being a bit different. Of course, once it's all done, it'll all be took apart and it will all be cleaned up where it, and polished where it needs to be. I'm not really spraying the Mech 1 chassis, it's pretty decent. There are bits of, uh, it's a bit grubby and a bit of rust showing through, not a lot, and there's marks in the paint, but it's nothing to worry about. Um, this is somewhat a uh, prototype. So anyway, boiler, um, as I said, 40 psi. We have a fitting here, that's for the uh, included pressure gauge, which is lying around somewhere in its package. Um, the price I pay for the pressure gauge from a traction engine, uh, the boiler's actually a very good buy. Uh, for the life of me think what the price was now. Uh, 125 I think. And you get the boiler, the um, pressure gauge, Obviously safety valve which is there, 40 psi one of course. If you're in any countries where you can't have one that powerful without a certificate, I know it's difficult with some, that'll come with a 20 psi uh, standard uh, safety valve. Okay, you won't be able to use so much pressure, uh, but uh, it is still usable. A top up valve there, uh, if you need it, if you needed it to. 4mm diameter uh, recess in the top. For your plastic tube or something a bit more fancy. Um, regulator, that's the valve there, and that is your water level plug. So that's really about it. Uh, I think that's the black is satin, Ford satin black. So there you are anyway, there you can see the, uh, the setup as it is. Um, the uh, control levers actually fell down underneath the uh, crankshaft there but there is going to be some more modifications such as this being cut down here a uh, slightly larger diameter manifold so it's easier to work with and drill holes into uh, then we'll put a two into one exhaust essentially I suppose um, and that will still leave some room not as much as usual but some room for extra gears, pulleys, as the model was intended to. Let's move these anyway, they're going to fall out. Um, there should be enough room here to maybe even put the flywheel in board there if you wished. Uh, and there's going to be room there for easy, easier couple of gears, and then you could always bring it, bring your uh, mechanism further out. Uh, and of course as it's Meccano you could always extend the chassis a little bit I suppose if you needed to. Um, this is just a bit of an experiment really, a bit of fun. Um, all done with household tools in the, in, in the kitchen. So uh, say so next up is the, um, the clamp for the burner. Uh, once that's in place, drill correctly, we'll be moving on to the, uh, the tank and the condenser fitting those. Which can't do much till the tools arrived, um, and there we are. I'll uh, obviously do an updated video and hopefully see it running. Um, no idea what's going to drive yet. There's a fantastic crane from the period of the original engine, 1929 to the 35. Uh, not sure about doing that yet, but thing is, it can still drive anything. You can run it just like a mammoth stationary engine on the table, just watching it run itself. You can run uh, a dynamo off it. You can run uh, a model drill or uh, anything, anything, you, it's only limited by your imagination and the amount of parts you've got 
in Meccano and of course how much money you've got which uh, it can eat it up a bit um, so there we are uh, we'll uh, get on with it in a couple of days and uh, I'll show you a bit more progress at a later date anyway there you go folks I hope the camera works alright although there ain't been a lot with this one uh, moving around uh, I had it yesterday still trying to get used to it and uh, we'll see how we get on uh, let us know if it's any better. I hope it is, because otherwise I could have bought another mammoth for the money. Anyway, bye for now, folks.